Pink strappy thong. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to cut out the whole explanation before I just say that. <laughs> So this is a segment I like to call Weird Questions, okay? Great name. <laughs> so basically, they're just really random questions. This is why I'm at the Invitational. Uh, we came here to do this interview about the weird questions. This was a year in the making, guys. Number one. Hostile questions. Only if you make it. Well, you're the one asking the questions, not me, so. So 100%, yes. All right, let's do it. All right, let's get, let's get weird. Question number one. Is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> Yes, because Why? you've got like two buns and meat in the middle. Hot dog? No. Why? I think, in my opinion, a sandwich is a triangle. And hot dog is not a triangle, so. Is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> Fuck. I used to study in China. Okay. In the textbooks, sandwiches are usually just triangles. They always cut in half. That's how. I think sandwiches should be. Spoiled. No, my mom never cut my sandwiches. <laughs> Why do I have to be on record answering this stupid question? I'm gonna say no, because the hot dog bun is usually one piece. Yeah, if you, if you put a hot dog like that, you can cut the sandwich, of course. If the bread rips and it's two pieces, does it become a sandwich? <laughs> no, it's just a bun. A hot dog is probably a sandwich. What type of sandwich? I don't know. A hot dog is like a submarine sandwich. So yes, I guess it is. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. Oh gosh. Yes. Hell yes. Pineapple on pizza with some nice hot peppers, it's a play, man. Like in Brazil, we don't do that. I feel like this must be an NA thing, because once you ask someone like outside of it, they kind of don't get it. I mean, Europe puts like corn and fish on their pizza, so they don't get a say in this. But I tried in Sweden on, on our boot camp, and I, I like it. it. It was good. It's delicious. But I ne I ne oh my god, I never tried, sorry. <laughs> but I will try. <laughs> he never tried, his opinion doesn't matter. If you could learn any language in the world, what would it be? Japanese. Why? Because our Japanese fan base is huge right now. French. I don't know. I'm Canadian, I say French. I wish I would learned I wish I'd learned French. You're Canadian. Learning French is part of school. You speak French? We. Oui. What else can you do? Au revoir. <laughs> Just like leave it. Au revoir. <laughs> oh. Wait. I'm going to think. <laughs> this is the most stressed out I've ever seen him. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be uh, Korean. I'm just doing this interview to know to be better at English. You are so good. You got to give yourself more credit. You're amazing at English. Thank you, thank you. Ask me to speak Portuguese. Vamos, vamos Brasil. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Do you know any Japanese words? Shout out to your Japanese fans. Let's go. Uh, Konnichiwa, Magdes, Oen, Arigato gozaimasu. Wow, that was more than just one word. I was expecting nothing from you. If you could trade lives with anyone in the scene, so whether it's a player, caster, anyone, who would you want to trade lives with for one day? I think... Pengu? I like my life, <laughs> but I think, you know, the, my big inspiration in this game is Pengu. I feel like it would be cool. Like, I don't want to say, like, the cheesy thing. I'm sure everyone would be like, oh, like, I want to be Bolo for a day or I want to be Pengu for a day. But, like, you know, that, those are their lives. I want to live mine. So I, I wouldn't really pick anybody. Maybe maybe Parker so I could put I could dress him in some real clothes. It would probably be a player just because I would like to see what the competitive experience for this game is at that level. I you want to be good at the game for one? Yeah. What if I just said, I want to be lusty for a day to tweet out, you know, Magnet is the best on his Twitter? I'll be kicks. Why? I love my long, beautiful hair. If you can eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm. Sushi. I told you these were going to be hard questions. These are not even like funny questions. These are deep <laughs> questions. I, li I seriously have to think about this stuff. If I had to eat one thing for the rest of my life. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Ramen. I don't know, probably salads, because uh, it's just... I'm very, I'm very utilitarian with this one. Um, you can do so much with them. You can put protein in them, you can go full vegetarian, vegan. Sushi is my answer, by the way. It's sushi. Do you have commitment problems? You guys say salads. <laughs> Who's coming on this show and saying salads? Now, if the opportunity presented itself, which of your teammates are more likely to steal your food, your lunch? Who would snipe it from you? Magnet. He's also watching right now. Yep. We're talking about you. <laughs> Lusty. 
And he doesn't even have to have the opportunity. You'll have a plate of chips in front of you. He's already grabbed it. They're his chips. He constantly takes everything that I own. He just doesn't care. Like yesterday, what? I was drinking a, a bottle of Coke. Uh -huh. and he just like takes it away. If uh, the opportunity presented itself, which, I was say teammate, which of your castmates, caster mates, what would you call each other? Caster mates? Casters. I guess. Colleagues. Okay, you're showing me up. Workers, like you call them in every other job. <laughs> okay, let me redo that. <laughs> if the opportunity presented itself, which of your colleagues would be most likely to steal your lunch? Why do you say colleagues so weirdly? I just really like the word, it's a good word. I think that would be me, actually. <laughs> Have you done this before? No, but I can help them. <laughs> He's done it before. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably say Stokes. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. There's something about those eyes. I don't trust. They're too nice. Do you put ketchup on any of the following? Eggs, grilled cheese, or mac and cheese? No. You look disgusted. <laughs> Why? Why would you put ketchup on any of those? People in Brazil, they eat ketchup and they put on the pizza. Ew. Pretty popular, yeah, yeah. Ew! The first two, but not mac and cheese. Have you ever tried it? Mm, no. But I have had barbecue sauce on mac and cheese before. <laughs> Alright, did you ever play Pokemon growing up? Uh, no. Did you ever play Pokemon growing up? No. You play Pokemon growing up? Absolutely. Absolutely, I play Pokemon. You're gonna ask me. I know you're gonna ask me. Because you looked at my card. What's your first starting three? Po what's your first starter Pokemon? That's wrong. I actually wasn't gonna ask you that. Oh, you weren't? I wasn't. If you can have any Pokemon as a pet, who would you choose? I think Ditto. I like Ditto. Why Ditto? That's that's cheating. That's like having every Pokemon. Yeah, he's just like a lion, pink, and like he's really basic, but can transform. He's the best. Arcanine. It's the best Pokemon. There's no other answer. Next question. Who would you want? A real life Pokemon. <laughs> They're out there. You're <laughs> like, I would choose Magikarp because I think Magikarp would taste really good. If you can play Rainbow Six with any celebrity in the world, who would it be? I think I like rap a lot, maybe like Snoop Dogg. Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> I want to play with you Rainbow Six Siege. I don't think I would pick any celebrities because it'll be bad again. Kevin Hart. Yes, Kevin Hart. He'd be so funny to play with. He'd be so good to play with. I love Kevin Hart. And I'd be taller than someone. Thank you for completing the weird questions test.